I'm in love with fishing and fishing's what I do. And if you wanna try them up, I'll take you fishing too. Maybe in the morning, in the noon day or at night. It don't really matter, I just wanna get that bite. We may catch a limit or maybe just a few. But even if the fish don't bite, just being out here will do. We may fish the ocean or river running free. And if you catch the biggest one, it'll be alright by me. Yes, I'm in love with fishing and fishing in my life. So grab your phone and go with me. This is the life of a fisherman wife. Let's go pull them in. <laughs> Let's go. Hey guys, it's your girl Linda with the Life of a Fisherman Wife with the guy she always does it with her fishing head. What's up? Guys, you see we got the winter gear on. The yeah. hat, the jacket and all that. It is cold today. It, 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 it's chilly. It ain't cold, but to her it's cold. Right? She, she get cold quick. It's about 48 degrees, so. Compared to what we've been having in the 80s, yeah, it's a little chilly. Yeah, it's a but, little uh, chilly. It's doable to me, so I'll be out here even if she had to go back to the car. You but know, that's uh, my my favorite hangout, the truck. We decided to start a little early, guys. We're going to try the river. And if nothing happening here, we're going to go down to Condon, try to catch some some uh, trout. Uh, we tried trout yesterday at a different spot, but we didn't get any. So. And if we don't get in there, anything at Condon, then we're going to go to Dullivan and try for some gills. So. We're gonna and crappie and crappie. We're gonna we're gonna try uh, two or three spots today, unless we get on them and then there's no need to go into another spot. Right. Hopefully we get on them here. Yeah. And they bite well here, so we can go to the house where it's warm at. Yeah, because I haven't caught crappie out of here, out of the river this year much. Every time I come, I catch one or two and they quit biting. So we'll see if they here or if we catch anything. Or I have, I haven't even jigged a smallmouth this year on the river. That was one of my hot spots last year. Last year, so we'll see. All right, fishing the egg on a crappie fish, and I'm gonna tend to the catfish pole. Yep. All right, see y'all when we get on them. Oh, you got a crappie, huh? Oh, that's a heavy dude. It is, and you got that little light pole. Oh, this is my jigging pole. I can jig off top of the hill good. I know. Look at that guy. That is a doozy. It is a doozy. Monkey milk, 116 ounce. ACC Crappie Sticks Jig Head with a Barber Garland Monkey Milk. Smell that smell, smell that. What is it supposed to smell like? It's just got that crappie smell, I don't know you. You don't smell that? No, I don't. Okay. He always smell a fish. He got that crappie smell, man. That's a, that joke a wide across the back. You know what, we're gonna get the crappie measure and see how, how long it is. We're gonna keep a few today. We haven't had any river crappie this year, so. Okay. Well, maybe once or twice. All right, we're gonna see. I should have wiped this thing out, guys. I'm gonna rinse it out. Try to get it so you can see it. We're gonna see if he'll fit in here. I caught one last week that wouldn't fit in here, so we're gonna see if he will. He is thick. Yeah, he made it. Guess what, guy? He over 12. That's, that's, easy. let's see. What, 11 there? Man, you can't hold I think the it. last number is 12 on there, isn't it? Yeah. That's this 11 right here, and the tip is 12 right there. So he over 12. He about 12 and a half. But he is thick, partner. Yeah. In the bucket he goes, In huh? In the bucket he goes, guys. We get about, about six of those. They're going to be a good meal tonight. That's a good meal. All right. Look, guys. Yellow bag. That's what's been stealing our bait. Guys, I was saying on one video that, look, I got another bite up there. I was saying that we haven't caught the yellow bass many places in a few years. Now this year, it seemed like everywhere we go, we're catching yellow bass. Now we are an hour away from where we was catching them at last week and week before. And now, we on the river where I haven't caught but one in the last six years <laughs> and they in here. 
So you never know. Sometimes the yellow, you find the yellows running. Sometimes you find the whites running. It's weird. All right, he hit that one time and quit. Uh, Linda went to the truck, so I just caught that yellow bass on her tight line. All right, we'll get back with you. Just some, uh, start back hitting. All right, guys, this was not very big. If he was, I'd keep him with that, that crappie. But uh, he's small. He's not not much longer than, than my hand. He got a little meat on him, but it ain't worth getting. So we'll, hopefully we'll catch some bigger. You got to let him go. He gone. All right, she got her first one if she get him in. I got a feeling there's another yellow bass. I hope it's a catfish. Yellow bass. Yellow bass. I thought it was. But that's okay. I got her. I was up in the air looking at that one, trying to make sure you don't walk across that line. Because it, it's hard to see. Oh, okay. Yeah. If they were bigger, it would be all right. Yeah. Maybe we're going to fish out the small ones and get the big ones. But Maybe. He's a pretty yellow bass. He is. Yellow bass biting quick, guys. I'm trying to jig for crappie. Every time I uh, start back jigging, one of the uh, tight lines will start shaking. You want me to toss it back out? Or you uh, guys, you see that limb over there? <laughs> she asked me, do I want her to toss it out? I don't think so. The last year, she was up in that tree in a boat. A boater had to get her out, so I think I better toss it. You know what? I'm going to let you toss it, but don't throw it hard with all your might. Okay. Feel, feel the weight. Uh, you can't throw it like that. <laughs> I, know, I, see. I see. I didn't see the first. One. Okay. What you been do just then? I was gonna flip the bell. Why? Uh, because I'm supposed to be tossing it, right? And you gonna toss it with uh, six feet of line out? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See all that line? You need to reel some of that in. There you go. Right there. Yeah. Right, don't yeah. If you see it going across toward the tree. Yeah, <laughs> it scared me a little bit, but that's good. Hold your arm up so it won't get in that stuff. That, that feel like he got home. He might come a little. I feel I had a feeling he gonna get home. All right, I I give him a little if I can. I had a feeling he was gonna get his time here. I always let him get there into stuff. Go. Oh, there he is. Another it's yellow bag. I think it's a yellow. It's a white. It's a white. It's a white. <laughs> and, a, and a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger white. Yeah. Well, so you ain't got the one crappie you want to keep this white. You know, I still think he's a little bit too small. The day is still young. What do you think? He gone. <laughs> Guys, I think he's on here. No, he didn't get off. He off. No, he's still there. I'm trying to do this all by myself because fishing is on the hunt for fish. Oh, look, I got a little catfish. All the time we was getting white bass and now I got a little catfish. Look at there. So let me get his little booty off. I don't want to get stuck because the girl, but boy, they hurt. They hurt, hurt. Guys, I got him off. You see, I got on gloves because I don't want him to hurt me. Guys, I got stuck by one. And yeah, it stung for a good little while. So I'm not going to get stuck by him. He got my glove already. Look, 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 he's stuck. Get off my glove. All right. But he's a little catfish. That's what's at the bottom biting. So we're going to let her go. Look. That wasn't my finger, though. Will you please get off that? Look, just that's why I don't do gloves. I can't do them. Come on, get off there now. Stop it. I know you love me and you want to stay, but you got to go. All right. Let's get him off. Now I got him off. Oh, he loved me though. Okay. Let, let me let you go, honey. He go. He said, let me see it for you. <laughs> Guys, we caught a catfish yellow stripers a white striper a nice size crappie but that's it so we uh, we're gonna go a little bit further to the next spot condon yeah right all right we'll see you all at condon yep good one too. it's a good one yeah.
I just threw that out there. Oh, that is a nice one. I just threw that is a keeper. And I was getting ready to, to uh, throw my, my uh, wax worm out there, and he hit it before it even sell. Really? Yeah. Guys, if you had noticed, we made it to the second spot. This is Condon. So. And I left my, left my plows fly. in the car. Left my pliers. And my uh, console. Oh, he swallowed it too, didn't he? Yeah, he got that, man. Yeah, he, he believed it. Yeah, he, good thing he's a keeper anyway. Yep, good thing. He go with that one crappie we have. Mm -hmm. Guys, we didn't take anything out for dinner today, so we think we're gonna go home and cook that one crappie and that bluegill. If we don't catch any more, hopefully we catch more. Yeah, I think we're gonna catch some more. And we'll do a, maybe a catch, clean, and cook crappie and bluegill. Maybe we'll come do a, a, a comparison with the sandwich. A with those two. Sandwich and a crappie sandwich. Right, a bluegill sandwich and a crappie sandwich. He's right there, man. He's right there. But it's not coming, huh? No, this this stick is flimsy. Oop, he stuck me, did he? said, You sticking me? Yeah, <laughs> he said, You making me bleed. All right, we'll get it off. All right. Guys, he got him off with a little surgery, but yeah, we got him, so we're gonna eat this one. Yeah, that uh, one is eating. We gotta go get our bucket because we haven't brought our bucket out here yet. We just got to this spot, and she was still in the truck. So I should have said, Come on down with the bucket. Yeah, <laughs> but that's all right. We'll go back and get it. We ain't that far. I just found out too, we could park on the other side of the street. Yeah, this is no parking on this side, so you can go get the truck, bring it down there, and park it right back there on the other side okay. of the street. Deal, deal. See how much stuff they ain't getting in down there? Yeah. Bad, look like. It is a little small map, bass. Bad. I yeah. thought it was a trout. Yeah. Guy, we hoping to get some trout, guys. Yeah, that's what we want, a trout. Yeah. It's a baby large mouth. Just in case I haven't showed you guys what I'm using today. I'm using that little pink. Well, it used to be pink. You see, it's only got a little pink left on it. It was pink and white. Uh... I think they call these rat finkies, but this is a 164th ounce, very small. We're gonna let this fella go. Yeah. He's <laughs> he gone. Guys, I threw out there and I got two bites on two casts. I threw the tight line out there. It started biting me before I could throw the barb out there. So I just threw the barb out there. It bit that before I can get back and throw the tight line out there. So we're gonna see how they gonna do that again. Chose this side because the wind is blowing into kind of crossway coming out of the northwest. And so I started over there just because the truck was over there. And uh and uh, I didn't get anything over there, not a hit. And this is my third cast and I got two fish. So I thought he was gonna burn again for you guys, but it looks like he said nah. You say your first cast with the spinner and you got one? Yeah. On this side, I cast on the other side of you and I didn't get anything. Okay. Hopefully it is a trout. Uh, Do they have to be a certain size out here? No, it's another bass. Mmm, small bass. Mm hmm Get that blue fox spinner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know why, knowing I was going to be fishing with this, I didn't bring a pair of plies, but there you go. There you go. Yeah. That's a second little bass. I was catching bigger ones than this last year, remember? Mm-hmm. All right. He, oh. Okay, you're going to release yourself. A more, couple more flaps. Couple more flaps. Come on, come on. Y'all more dead. Don't give up right there. <laughs> he gave up. There you go. There you go. Oh, she getting stuck in the grass now. Alright, buddy. Oh, there you go. Get out. There you go. He's gone. Are they getting bigger? Nope. 
Not any bigger, huh? No. Just in different places. Different places. I caught some bigger ones last year, but I did catch a lot of small ones last year too in here. But I did catch a few bigger ones. Not huge, but bigger than this. Bigger than this. I also caught some uh, trout last year, but I ain't even got, haven't caught a single one today. Look at that. Little fella. Thanks for the pool, though, but. I need your mama in your pawpaw. No, we need some trout. Tell him to go get his trout for oh, you. Yeah, tell the trout you tired of getting your lips so because he need to get here so for a little bit. All right, all right, yeah, you gonna leave his family alone. Yeah. He gone. Guys, let me tell you something. So Fish and Ed set me right here. Guys, I'm in so much pain right now, it's a shame. No, you 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 told me to watch this pole right here. It, it's not in the tree. God, there go the tree right behind me. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there go the tree right there. But anyway, I am sitting here watching this pole right here. I, um, Fish and Ed had just caught a fish. He is right there. Oh, I'm still in my face. I don't know if you, you can you see him. He right down there. So I walked over and I, uh, filmed him catching a fish and I came back and sewing this bucket as soon as my little bottom hit this bucket a bee hit the back of my neck stung me guys y'all see what I had on there is, is it all right y'all cuz I pulled it off I ain't gonna lie hat wig everything was down I was almost in the water I was fighting so hard trying to save my life from that bee and guys my neck hurt me so bad I am NOT allergic to bees but I got a little knot back there right now. <sighs> but I'm not allergic to bees. I, I have been stung many times. Never had an allergic reaction. But guys, you know the older you get, the things things happen. But guys, my neck is hurting me so bad right now. But you know what? I'm not even ashamed of pulling off this wig. All these people out here, and guys, a part of this wig, it'll scare you. I ain't gonna lie. Because I didn't do nothing to this hair. Um... But I ain't shame. Show late. <laughs> and if you come back, that weed might be in the water over there because my neck hurt me. <sighs> Guys, the thing we do for what we love and who we love. All right. <laughs> no, I just say the things we do for what we love and who we love. Mm, he said he missed one looking at me. Yeah. All right, guys, it's not me where you all should laugh with me. So I just wish, only thing that I hate is this fish and egg one video on me when that happened because, <laughs> guys, y'all would have got tickled. You would have got tickled pink. I ain't going to lie to you. Because, <laughs> oh, he told me, hey, you didn't have to tell me not to get in the water. I had sense enough not to get in the water. All right, whatever. He said I was, I was swinging with my eye closed and I was at the edge of the water. Yeah, I was at the edge, but I saw that. But all right, guys, just laugh at me, pray for me, and we're going to catch another fish. What you got? Okay. You searching hard for him. That is a nice bluegill. Well, like we're going to get your stuff and bring it down here. Yeah, maybe I won't get stung again. Yeah, sitting up on that tree. Shut <laughs> up! I wasn't up on the tree. Yo, that tree bushes were touching your coat, and that bee crawl off that bush on that neck. He said, "Ooh, me." Whatever. <laughs> That's all right. Bee. He going in the bucket. Yeah, he going in the bucket. I want you to show them my neck. Just see, can okay. you see my neck? Right. I'm wiping your neck. I can wipe my bob too. Look at that big one just turned up out there. All right, get a fish while I'm pulling her neck out. All right, this one she got stung at right there. Don't be looking at my BB back there. Right there. Yeah, it's yeah. a little swole. Yeah. It hurt all down here. All I know. Down there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Trout. You got a trout? No, that dude fooled me again. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't want one too bad. Another large one. Another large I must want a trout too bad. Mm, yeah. That trout sandwich calling me. Uh oh. He got it good. Yeah, he do. I see the hook way over here sticking out his lip. What I do with my uh, pliers? It's still in the truck? 
I mean, I didn't take my uh, tackle bag out. Nope, not at this trip. That was at the other, that was at the river, wasn't it? That was at the river. Dang. I can see you, guy. All right. You got to work with him, huh? Yeah, I got to find him. All right, guys, he had that down. I had to cut my blue fox spinner off there to get him loose, so I'd rather cut it than the injure him. So I just cut it and pulled it out without hurting his gills. So we're going to let him go. That water up high, ain't it? Yeah. He gonna look, you see him? Yep, he swam down the way, didn't he? Yep, he shot on like a rock. All right. All right, guys. This is how I tie this on. I forgot what this knot is called. I can't see that good, but I put it through there. Just like you was gonna tie a loop knot, but instead of tying a loop knot, I spin this blade seven times. One. You can spin it five to seven times, but I like seven too. And it's hard to do because it keeps twisting in the tip of it because it's a spinner. I think this is called the improved clinch knot or something like that, or maybe the clinch knot. And then once I get it there, I bring it down and I put it through that loop that I made when I was twisting it. And then I pull it almost to the top and then I stick it back through that loop I just created up there. And then I just pull it tight. It's already wet from the water, so I just pull it tight and I cut that little tag in off. And that's the way I do it. Yep. Okay. There you go. Another trout, isn't it? Do that dance for a little. It's a trout, isn't it? No, nah, not this time. I ain't gonna claim this time. <laughs> Under the chin. He hit at that thing and missed. Got him under the chin, guys. So are you catching the small bass? Small bass, man. I'm gonna want that trout too. I like it when they on the chin. These the hooks get out easy. I ain't got to do surgery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, where the bigger ones at? All right, he gone. He's smaller than the first one. Well, I just let go. Well, at hey, least they you getting bites back to back. They keeping you engaged. Look where he at. <laughs> Well, you told them where to get caught at. <laughs> they didn't see. You moved oh. it. You stop moving so much. All right. I'm turning it from side to side. You, you don't want to hold the camera. <laughs> he gone. All right, guys. At the third spot, this little dam right here, very small. I'm you know, fishing out here. And this little cove, this real shallow over there. But uh, just got my first one. It's a little perch. I'm gonna get him off and get him back. All right, guys. Second fish that quick. Linda stayed in the car. She said she about done. So I figured since we was here and this close, I might as well at least try. So I'm gonna get him off and get him back too. All right, guys. Three fish in five minutes. So I'm gonna see if she wanna get out of the car or if she's just ready to go home. I right, get back with you. Get him off and get him back. He gone. What is it? Another little small bass, isn't it? No, that's a, a perk. Blue I mean, bluegill. a bluegill. That damn make it kind of loud, don't it? It does. Is that a small one? Small enough to go back, huh? Uh, oh, he been, he been beat up. That's okay. Look across his back. I see that big dent in his back. He alone? He is. Let him go. He needed, he, 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 he been a survivor. Let him survive some more. Yeah. Ooh, look what she got, a catfish. Look who came to join me. I told oh, him. Another B. Right ooh. Just swipe him down like this. Do this. No, then look. Look at me. <laughs> oh, did y'all see why she gets stung? I told her how to get the B off of her. She's trying to pop him with her little finger. <laughs>
That's a mud cat. He fell too. I get him. Mud cat, uh, where he at? Oh, there he is. Mud cat, bull, head catfish. But anyway, he gone. She said she caught some crappie light earlier. There you go, pool. <laughs> yeah, I saw. I figured they were catching crappie because I seen all the minnows on the bank. Okay. All right, guys. Sometimes I'd be glad for her to come out the car and, and uh, get her a couple. But sometimes I hate I got to hold this phone. <laughs> there she goes. She got one. Crappy. She got a crappy. Yeah, she got a crappy. All right. Look at She got a little ugly green sunfish. It is. Yeah, catfish bait. I'm gonna get him off and let him go. He gone. What is that one? All right. Probably not. They could. I've seen bigger ones come out of here, but look like today, that's all we getting. All right. Guys, it's back to back to back action. Yeah. Huh? Uh, I forgot the name of this. I can't remember. I have to uh, put the sign on the picture when we go back out. It's in it's in Lake Delavan though, but I just can't remember the name of it. He gone. All right, guys, got me a rock bass here. All right, she be talking about she can't video and film at the same time, but what I'm doing, guys? All right, we're gonna get him off and get him back. All right, guys. He gone. All right, guys. I can't fish for calling her out the car and she tearing him up. <laughs> Cause she won't bring the stand. <laughs> so I can't fish. So I ain't gonna, if it ain't no bigger than that, I ain't gonna film it. Deal, deal. It's almost time for us to go anyway, guys. We done had a good day. Let her get that one off if she can. She fighting with him. Oh boy, I might gotta get off again. All right, got my. He gone. He did a gainer. Oh, she got her smiling. He gone. Yeah, look what I just got. I just got a drum. A big one, too. Or a sheep head, whatever you want to call it. All right, don't get him off. All right, guys. I'm going to let that big dude go. He gone. <laughs> Another first guy. Another perk. Let me go into the car, but I don't want to leave. All right, I'm gonna get him out and get him back. All right, guys, got another crappie. He's a little fella. This is my third crappie since she left. All right, but no keepers. All right, there he is. He gone. Another crappie, guys. Another crappie. Now, 
There is no size limit on crappie guys, but I like them a little bigger than that. That's a, uh, another black crappie. I'm gonna get that one off and get him back too. All right, guys, she gone to the truck. So this may be the last one of the day. I'm gonna use that wax worm up I got on there and I'm gonna go catch up with him. She only been gone five minutes. So I'm gonna get him off and get him back. Look guys, she left and I found the crop. Oh, I tell you the truth. I wonder, is she my bad luck? <laughs> Nah, I'm just playing. All right, I'm gonna get him off and get him back. He kind of small. Hey guys, uh, it's been a long day for us. We have been to two or three different lakes uh, trying to catch the, the trout run. Yeah. Uh, that's what we was really after today. Guys, I was in the truck. Cause you know, when I get tired, I get in the truck. When I get cold, I get in the truck. So I was when in the truck. When they ain't you, get in the truck. When they ain't I get in the <laughs> truck. So yeah, so that's where I was. So fish day came up. And plus it was a little noisy down there by the little spillway, dam, running water, whatever you want to call it. It's like a spillway. Yeah. So uh, I meant a little. It's a lot of those uh open West Constant. We find a lot of those scattered out. Yeah. Fishing Ed thought that on the river he was gonna catch a lot of crappie because he ended up catching that one nice size crappie, but not another one bit after that. Well, yeah, I thought I had one more, but I didn't get him up to see what it was. It could have been a rock bass or something too. But uh, I never did get it up to see what it was. So we just ended up with that one crappie off the river. Caught a lot of yellow bass, but they weren't any of them one uh, was keepers. So. Not big size. Yeah. And then we went to Condon and we caught a lot of uh, bluegill. Well, not a lot, a, a good amount of bluegill yeah, and large, a large mouth. And then um, we went to this lake, which neither one of us know the name of the lake. Um, I know the name of it, but I can't remember. I got a picture of it in my phone from the last time I went last year. Yeah, and um, the bluegill were biting pretty fast. The crappie started to bite up, but he said the crappie started to light up the water after I left. Y'all, yeah, I'm his bad luck. You know. <laughs> when it's time for the go, the crappie, I tell him it's time to go. So they, they, no, they don't. They ain't on my side, are they? Huh? They ain't on my side. What ain't on your side? The crappie. Because if, if we're on the same page, if I tell them it's time to go, they won't light the water up. Oh. Oh, they be trying to make him stay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it works sometimes. I stayed. I said I was going to leave at 4. I stayed at 4.30. But uh, I caught a few crappie. I didn't catch any keepers, though. And y'all, he came out there with a head hanging low. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you did. Cause well, because I wasn't ready to go. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You were ready to go. You was like, I ain't ready to go. But, you know, I told you 4 o'clock and then 4.30. So I'm going to go come on out of here. Uh, but anyway, uh, God, it's enough rambling. Guys, here are the finished fillets right here. These are the crappie fillets. This was a, like a 12 inch crappie. Yeah, 13, he was over 12. Uh, almost, almost 13. Uh, and um, that's a great fillet. Uh, here are the bluegill fillets. We're gonna get them all seasoned up. We're gonna get them ready for our sandwich and we're gonna compare uh, the crappie sandwich and the bluegill sandwich. So we're gonna get them all seasoned up and we'll be re right back with you. Guys, our fillets are ready. We have some very thick and nice size crappie fillets. So I think that crappie need a little bit more seasoning. So this, all this is, is just garlic powder. I like this because it has a, it's, it's very uh, fragrant, flavorful, not fragrant, but it's fragrant as well. But it's very flavorful. Um, so I like it. 
So I'm just going to do one side of that. And then I'm going to take my season all. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit, not a lot. Because my Andes uh, seasoning has, I'm going to sprinkle the seasoning on both sides of this. Guys, if you see, that's not a lot at all. I'm not going to put any on the bluegills because the bluegills are so small. So we're going to put all this aside right here. And we're going to get our breading, which we've been using out of our Andes. We're going to put it in here. And guys, my grease is already getting really hot over there. So by the time I get done breading the fish, it should be ready. Fish and Ed probably say this is enough. So mm, maybe not. You you the one, y'all. You girl, you use too much. So we'll see. It's only a few fillets though. It might yeah, it's make. It's only it. a few fillets. We don't have a whole lot of fillets. Yeah, it'd be all right. You think so? Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll all them, them little over there. But guys, as you can see, that is well coated, well coated. So then I will take all of these and put it in here. They are so tiny. And guys, so we didn't tell you, we were gonna make some um, bluegill and crappie sandwiches since it's so late and we just got done fishing. And um, we don't want, you know, it's in a few hours we will be in bed anyway. And we won't, don't want that heavy food on our stomach. So we're just going to have us a, a bluegill and crappie sandwich. And then we're going to do probably some chips on the side or something. That's it. Nothing major. Put these back in there. Get them make sure to coat it. And then we're going to walk over here. Told you it was enough. <laughs> okay. Told you it was enough. <laughs> and we're just going to... Um, you don't do no test when you're sprinkling in there? I am. Oh, there you go. Gonna lay that like that. Get them all in here, all nice and cold and cozy. I think you need to get that big one in there. I am gonna put that big one in there now. And lay the little one around the edges. That lighting ain't right. That what is it right? Lighting. It's dark. Yep. Um that's all right. Go ahead and put them in right there. Okay. Well, I don't think I want to crowd the skillet, so that's all I'm going to put in here for now. And then um, when we come back after these are fried, we'll show you how we make our sandwiches. Guys, this, these are the fillets that we have. These, these are the bluegill. They're right there. It's the crappie. I'm going to prepare my sandwich first, and then I'm going to let Fish Ed prepare his. How I like to do my sandwich is I like to put my fillet down first. And then I like to put my tomato down because I don't like soggy bread. And then I like to put guys, I love onions. I want onions on mine. And then lettuce. I don't like that part of the lettuce. Maybe good for you, but I don't like it. So now, I just want, I like, I don't like mine. I'm a miracle whip type girl. I like a little sweetness in my life. So, I don't like it a lot. I just like a little bit spread it on my bread. Would you like me to fix yours, fish and eggs? Yeah, you can go ahead. And we okay. won't have to switch So then you tell me what you want on yours. Just miracle whip and mustard, fine with me. Okay. So the same thing, the lettuce and tomato, right? Mm-hmm. And you want one tomato too, because I don't right. you like that's too many onions. That's good. All right. And you you like a lot of stuff. You like. Tell me when. Yeah, good. Oh, I wasn't looking at y'all. Oh, I'm looking. sorry. I mean, that's good. I, I, ain't, I ain't mean for you. I mean, fix it, but. But you like a lot of stuff. Yeah, but. That one run it over. All right, now. 
All right, now, now let's go ahead and fix the um, bluegill. Guys, I'm going to put four fillets on this one. We just want to taste this one. Because two sandwiches will be way too much for me to eat. You think mm, that's good? Three going to have to three? be good. You think three is enough? Okay. So then I want to put this tomato down. Put some onions on it. Guys, to me, onions is what makes the sandwich. If you got a burger and you don't have onions on there, you don't have a burger. And I'm going to do your little concoction with your um, mustard. Yeah. Guys, fish and Ed love mustard on fish. That's his thing. Fish and mustard are supposed to go together. All right. And if you got catfish, fish, mustard, and hot sauce yeah. make a great sauce potting. So we're going to put that on top of there. Them, uh, them toasted buns look a little dog, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about toasted buns now. No, I'm just saying. All right. So, which one are we going to taste first, Fish and Egg? Uh, I guess you got the bluegill. And that's how it look on the inside. Great sandwich. So I'm gonna taste my my uh, bluegill sandwich first. I don't have to do a taste test, really, unless you just want me to. I do. Oh, okay. I'm All right. I'm gonna pause it. Isn't it? Yeah, I just gonna taste it. I know you will eat it. Mm-hmm. Good as always. Isn't it good? Mm-hmm. I want us to which one tastes the best. I don't know. Okay, so let me. You want you want me to taste my eyes now, my crappie sandwich now. You ain't even ate to what you got in your mouth yet. I'm fixing it. You fixing it? You got a big, nice chunk of uh, crappie. Mm hmm Blue, you got a big. You think bluegill got to be? Mm -hmm. Or just because you ate that bluegill first? Maybe. Oh, okay. All right, Paul. Okay. Guys, I'm going to get that piece right there. I think the yeah, crappie could have had a little more seasoning on, don't you? Because it's thicker. Mm hmm. But the next is a delicious sandwich, though. Yeah, both of them are pretty good now, partner. Don't get me wrong. I have, I'll have. take either one. Well, I'm telling you, do it any day, any time, in a month. All right. Guys, this is all we're going to eat. I like these lightly salted potato chips. Plain. Fish and egg going to get him some sour cream and onion, put it on the side. And guys, this is really good. It actually tastes like a salad that you just, you know, made you a good, nice salad and, and put some fish on top of it. A fish salad. Yeah, and, and put some cuton, the bread is cuton. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's what it kind of tastes like to me. But guys, we would like for you all to have a good night. And we'll see you on our next adventure. Guys, Fish and Ed and I, we're going to finish up this sandwich. It is very delicious. Mm -hmm. My neck finally stopped hurting. My, uh, where the bee stung me at, it finally stopped hurting after about, I don't know, I, a couple hours it, it stopped. Yeah, that bee sting hurt. Boy, I haven't been stung in a long time, but boy, it hurts. Yep. But guys, we're going to ask you to make tomorrow better than today. And until next time, God bless and good fishing. Peace, y'all. We out of here. Now that fishing's over, sun is getting low. Yes, I caught a big one, but I just had to let him go. Yes, he was a nice one. He was the biggest of the day. Show felt mighty good to me just to watch him swim away. May not ever see him again, this I know is true. But now that he is swimming free, you might catch him too. Glad you came to fish with me, yes it was really nice. Maybe we can go again on the life of a fisherman's wife. Until next time, God bless and good fishing. Peace.